Okay, here we go. Mixed messages if you're hunting for a house and you're trying to make it in the Bay. There is some good news. Maybe you know by now, prices are going down. However, if you do the math, rising mortgage rates still make it so expensive to buy a house here. Our business attack reporter, Scott Budman, breaks down the latest housing numbers for you. A drop in housing prices by about 7% means you save more than $100,000 on a typical Bay Area home. But a rise in mortgage rates to about 7% all but erases that savings. In the Bay Area, you're looking at thousands of dollars a month more expensive for a mortgage today than just January of this year. And it appears we finally got that drop in housing prices but it's all but offset by a rise in interest rates. That is an extremely you know, large change in the monthly payment that is gonna cause a lot of buyers to say, I might be pausing my search, I might stop my search, I might look for cheaper housing. Nonetheless, a market with fewer multiple offers mixed with a feeling that prices have finally peaked have brought the sticker price down. But- I think it's still too expensive. For many, especially young buyers, it's not down far enough. If I do well on the job, you know, I could save up and eventually buy a house, but in this economy, in this market, <laughs> in this area, I, don't, I don't, still don't think it's possible. And more numbers in a downward direction. Here in San Jose, fewer than 40% of homes that sold went for above asking price last month. At this time last year, that number was 70%. In San Francisco, 60% of homes sold for above asking price last month. Last year, that figure was 80%. In the South Bay, Scott Budman, NBC, Bay Area News.